Hey everybody, it's Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. If the filming of this video has anything to do with the way my day's going, I might just need to go back to bed. <laughs> Honestly, I think I have started this thing four or five times. Um, I called my channel the wrong name. I mean, I, it has just been awful. But anyway, uh, apologies first of all for my throat. It's very scratchy today. I think I've got some allergy issues. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to film this because I, I desperately want to tell y'all another giveaway winner because I feel so bad about the last one that never contacted me. And I'm hoping this lady um, gets in touch with me so I can send off my um, prize. See, I can't talk because I'm concentrating too much on how bad my throat feels. But um, her name is Cheryl Dye, D-Y-E. If you will just look under most every one of my videos, my email's listed. Just send me an email and let me know that you're the winner and we'll get you know in touch with each other and I'll get your prize sent out right away. Um, Cheryl Dye. And I am gonna give you until next Friday to contact me. Uh, today's March 18th. I have no idea what date that'll be, but you know, please get in touch with me if you get a chance and see this video. But I just wanna share a couple things with you guys. I finished my summer's evening wrap, which is this. I love, love, love this pattern. And the reason I love it so much is that every row is different. And for somebody who gets very bored and, and wants to move on to something else because I'm getting, it's too routine, uh, this is a great pattern. It's the different, you, do, you go this way, but this is the way it looks across. They're just all different kinds of stitches. Um, now, I changed the pattern a little bit. Let me show you how long it is. I had it on in my last video, but, you know, since I had to start over. Um, <clears throat> it, I made it longer, and I don't really know how much it varies off the actual pattern because I used a number two weight yarn, and the pattern calls for a four weight. And I used a number six uh, crochet hook, and they call for a six also, but they had a four weight, so... Anyway, you know, that's the beauty of crochet and knitting. You make it your own, and that's what I did. But this is just wonderful. I love it. It feels good. It, I love the rectangle shape. I don't have very, in fact, I don't even, I may just have one other shawl maybe that's rectangle that I've kept. I, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm actually not going to keep this. I'm going to send it to Rose with Rose Lights Crochet for her wings, um, domestic violence, um, Cheer, donations, donations that she's asking for. I can't even think today. Um, and I've got all mine stacked up here to send today. And the other one, I just want to show you the other shawl that I finished. And I'm going to have to show you two because I can't remember if the one I'm going to show you is the last one I finished or the one I've already showed you. But it's the Red Heart It's a Wrap. And I had my ball band. I actually have that one. It's this yarn. And it's in the documentary color. And I held two together and used a six millimeter hook. Uh, to, I just find it much easier when it's a number one, you know, the cotton type yarns to do that. And I also wanted to blend the color change like this one. I think this is the second one that I finished. And the reason I'm showing you both, and I may have just said this, but I'm gonna tell you again, I had two balls that I held together and I stopped about halfway through and then started another shawl. So I got two shawls out of the two balls held together. Um, or cakes, I think they're cakes. And here's the other one, just to show you how big I got both of them to be. And I'm pretty happy with these. And I've got one more I wanna show you that I showed you a few weeks ago that were the two held together that um, I finished and made one whole shawl, just to show you the size difference. See? Oh, can't even hardly get that raised up far enough to show you. Um, and I just want to give people options. The other two are smaller, and that may be what people prefer, especially with it being a summer weight shawl. Or somebody may want a lot more coverage and want it a larger shawl. Um, okay, I'm going to show you some more yarn that I got. And please, I'm going to quit. I said this, may have said this before, but I'm going to quit telling myself I don't need to show. I feel bad for showing it because I said I'm never, you know, I'm quitting buying yarn. I'm not gonna buy much yarn. Um, but I've just gotten sucked in with this lady. Her yarn is so beautiful and I can't help it. 
Um, and someone in my comments did make me feel better. They said that buying yarn is cheaper than therapy. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I got two things. One, I ordered her Beetlejuice colorway in a sock set. You got the two that you can make, you know, one with each sock so we matching stripes. And I chose the green for the heels, uh, toes and cuffs. And this is on her Alice base. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Uh, super squishy, super soft. Um, I've kind of stopped doing my other socks and I'll tell you why when I, at the end of this in case anybody don't want to hear the story. It's not that bad, but anyway, I just want to share it. Um, the other thing that I got was her uh, Stephen King Yarn Club. It's not a reoccurring subscription. It's just something if you choose to get it that month, you do. But honestly, I, I already bought the one for next month. No apologies because I absolutely love it. It's such a unique looking colorway to me. There may be millions of these out there, but this is the most unique I've seen. And I, I love the colors. Um, it's this. It's on our Alice base, the same as the last one. And it's just so pretty. It's just so different. It's got the yellows and the reds. And let's see. The orangey color, I think that is. Um, I hope you guys can see it the same way I'm seeing it. And it comes with a little mini skein. So it's like a sock set. But you know me, I had to get the option with two. Because I think I'm not, I'm not making socks out of this. I want to make something that's a some type of wearable, whether it be a shawl or a hat and scarf or cowl or something that I want that I know will use more than one. Um, and I'm gonna look up, and I may mix some colors with it. I, I don't know. I'm gonna look up something special because, like I say, I have nothing like this in my stash. And I don't care if the color looks good on me or not. I love the yarn, and it's just different. And I want to do something nice. Um, so I'm going to have to really take my time to pick out a pattern for that. And Erica, I know you probably don't watch my uh, videos, but I absolutely love your yarn. If you know of any patterns <laughs> I could use with that yarn, just let me know. And she's from the Lopsided Crafter, just like I said. And y'all go check out her Etsy shop. She's got some patterns, um, wearable patterns. She's got some amigurumi patterns, and she's got many more other yarn cho choices, and they're beautiful. Um... The last thing is, let's see, what was I going Oh, on that, so I was going to ask you guys a question to help me with something. The summer evening wrap, you see it comes with um, fringe. And I've got this much left over of the yarn. And I'm thinking of adding fringe to the ends right here. Now, this is going to be donated, so I need y'all's opinions. If you think it'd be a good idea, I think it would look beautiful. It would make it different, you know, whatever. And I could, you know, use up some of this yarn. Now, do I love making tassels or fringe or whatever you call it? No. But, you know, if it makes it a little more special, I may do it. But I want you guys' opinion to see how y'all feel about um, fringe. Okay. And, you know, I have filmed this video so many times, I cannot remember if I mentioned the giveaway winner. Uh, it's Cheryl Dye. And contact me by email. And if I mentioned this at the first of the video, you guys, please excuse me. I am not crazy. I'm just, I filmed this so many times. I don't know what I've said and what I hadn't said. Okay. I've got one more thing. And this is for people. It's not yarn related, but it is sort of. And if people don't like to talk about feet, you need to just go ahead and click off. But, but it's not gross, but I still just want to share something with you. I'm the oldest of three, and I love sharing. I like taking care of people. I think that's the way you need to describe me. And if I find something that I love that works for me, I love to show it to people. So you can ask my family. I'll probably drive them crazy saying, oh, you need to try this. You need to try that. But I have dry heels. I live in Colorado. It's dry as it can be here. I have humidifiers in my house. I think that's what's wrong with my throat today. It's either allergies or just the dryness has gotten to me. But um, my feet, my heels have been terrible. And every time I try those socks on, I'd hear it go, make that noise. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If anybody out there has dry heels, y'all know what I'm talking about. And I thought, I am just ruining my socks. And I don't want to make these anymore because I don't want to mess them up. They're too much work. So I thought, I've got to fix this. Now, 
I have had a few pedicures in my life, but this is just not me. I just don't take the time to go run out and do that. I get a haircut maybe once a year. I never get my nails done. Um, but with that being said, I need to find a solution. And I know a pedicure only works, you know, just for a few days on my heels. They start getting rough again. So, uh, didn't want to spend the money. But I did look up something. And I'm telling you guys, this is a miracle worker. If it can fix my heels, I know it can fix yours. <laughs> so, if anybody has any trouble with dry heels, this is, and this is not sponsored in any way. Lord have mercy. No, they, nobody knows who I am. Uh, but this is what it is. It's the Flexitol Heel Balm. It's like a white lotion, a little thicker. I just throw it on my feet at night, throw on a pair of socks right after I take my shower, I take my shower in the evening, and uh, and I don't sleep with socks on, so I just leave it on for two or three hours and then take them off, but this honestly has been a game changer. I'm telling you, it's like I've been to the spa and got a pedicure, <laughs> but I just wanted to share it with you guys, and I hope y'all don't think I'm crazy and silly, but anyway, I, I found something good, and I wanted to share it with my friends, but you guys have a great weekend. Um, I hope to get to the sewing room this weekend. I've got some project bags that I really, really want to get done. And I can't do it during the week. Mama forgets where I'm at and, and gets scared. And I hate to go downstairs when she's up here and doesn't know where I'm at. So my husband will be here this weekend. So I hope to get some sewing done. Uh, but you guys have a great weekend and happy. Oh, one more thing. I ordered my compression gloves. Somebody suggested they're coming today and I cannot wait to try them out. I'm so excited. I've not had as much pain lately uh, because I've not been crocheting as much because I've got other things that are more important that I need to be taking care of. But anyway, I've rambled enough. I love you guys. Y'all, honestly, talking to you guys have just been so, so good for my heart. I almost started crying. So good for my heart and my mental health. You have no idea. But anyway, I don't want to end on a bad note. I'm in a great mood. Y'all have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.